So today I want to explore another story. And I think that, I think I may have stumbled upon what might be one of the best graphic novels I have ever read. Which if you're not into the art form or anyone who might watch this, I'll be honest, I am, there is some incredible work done in graphic novel format. You know, of course, I would say that the best work ever done is the Sandman series by Neil Gaiman. But I recently stumbled upon the Black Monday Murders, and it is it is about as good as it gets. And so it plays with some similar ideas. And one of the central questions is similar to works of Gaiman: What is a god? And in a postmodern world. This is a complicated question and one that's central to circle theory. And the Black Monday murders are specifically looking at the gods of money and the gods of economics. And I'll be honest, right? I mean, as somebody who has studied economics to the best of my ability, I was raised by a master of economics, right? I mean, my, my father is about as good of an economist as you could ever know. It, it's such a pagan witchcraft, right? I mean, these are really complicated, bizarre systems built off faith. And that's what I find interesting about economics is the idea of what does a dollar mean? What, I mean, it's a worthless piece of paper. It, it, it carries no meaning of itself besides the faith that we carry in it. An idea wonderfully illustrated by South Park, if you've watched the episode where they start worshiping the economy. But it's, I mean, it's not that it's necessarily really backed up by anything. I mean, the gold system is gone. But even before that, right, these are notes. The prayers, really, contracts signed between us and a stronger being and black monday murders explores that and goes okay well what if these are actual gods of existence and explores what those might look like and what those rituals might mean and in a more complicated sense ask what would you have to sacrifice to achieve success in that system I highly suggest it to anybody. Then along the same, the same side, it's contrasting different forms of faith. So on one end, we have the gods of the economy, which in some ways seem to be owned by certain families that control them and move them through certain almost paganistic systems. But it's contrasted by our detective, I guess could be best as our hero of the story that is that is still interested in voodoo and isn't swayed by money, but by more, I suppose primitive is not the word, but more existential forces by ancestors and by those that came before. And I think this poses a very interesting concept. What, what God is more important? The God of the dollar or the God of the forefather? Because it's hard to pay reverence to both. And what I find interesting in this, this novel is it explores how that stuff passes on, right? I mean, this is a complicated social issue, right? I mean, we talk a lot about trust funds and wealth and how that's managed and how that's shared and equity in an equitable society. If they're physical manifestations of this power, can it just be passed? And what must we sacrifice to do so? You know, the, 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 the text really starts with a sacrificial offering to appease a disrupted god of the system. I need to get the second book, and I'm, and I'm deeply sad that the series 
is on a bit of a hiatus because I think it's a really important work that needs to be finished. I think it's deeply philosophical and plays with very complicated and important ideas. But I suppose the idea, and I'll make this one a brief video, is if we live in a postmodern world and we accept Gaiman's premise that gods are existential beings that exist at the manifestation of human being, I suppose, right? I mean, it's not just game. And I mean, I talked about the Stormlight Archive in an earlier video uh, by Brandon Sanderson. And, and this is really the concept there too, right? With Spren, that these are, that, that gods are a manifestation of emotion incarnate. That there's gods of the incarnate being of economics too, because this is a powerful system that rules the society of people and something that I need to better understand in the outline of my text. So with that, I posed a question for myself and, and for anyone who may ever stumble upon these diary entries, which is what are the gods of an economic system? How do they work? And what do they mean for our society as a whole?